Hello everyone, my name is MJ Phil Chess and welcome to uh yeah the stinger didn't work there. Anyway, welcome to another uh TOP art challenge video. We're gonna be working on uh, my entry for TOP art challenge uh for this month yeah for this month, November. And yeah, I actually did not uh take a look at the book. Where's my book? Where's my book? But yeah, I did not take a look in the book uh, what is inside chapters 25 and 26. And yeah, we're done with all of the other ones, of course. And now we're working on November. So I just need to look for my book. I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's a clutter in the table right now. I have book 5 here, but book 1's... Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's it's a it's a dump here. So yeah, uh, we are gonna be working on chapters twenty five to twenty six for uh, this month. So I'm just gonna uh, skim through the book. I didn't I didn't really you know, I didn't take a look at it before the stream. I purposely do that so I can show you the, the me eating donuts, reading the book thing. There won't be any purpose to that if I already know what's gonna happen. Well, I already know what's gonna happen. I just don't know what's inside chapters 25 to 26. So, yeah, hopefully the stream's going well. Just tell me in the chat if it's not to anyone who's watching right now. And right now, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at chapter 25. Oh, yeah. It, um, by the way, a disclaimer. Anyone who hasn't read the book yet, Gregory the Overlander by Suzanne Collins, this stream will have a lot of spoilers about the book. So, if you haven't read the book yet, I, uh, excuse me, I'm giving you time to uh, leave. Really, I just, I don't care if you watch the stream, just, just leave. This is a very, very spoilery TUP art challenge video. And I really don't want to spoil Gregory the Overlander to you if you haven't read it yet. So, uh, you know, get out. Get lost. Except you, M buddy. You've read this a thousand times. Or well, probably two times, I don't know. Just you've read this, so you stay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, chapter five is uh let me just read it to you, I guess. Gregor soared out over the canyon, throwing his body as high into the air as he could get. He could feel warm blood blood running down his leg. One of the rats had gotten a claw into him just as he was taking off. I'm falling, thought Gregor, just like when I came to the Underland. Only he was falling much faster now. There was no current supporting him from underneath. Just a hideous, just a hideous void gaping below him. He had never really understood how he had landed safely the first time. Never had a moment of quiet and clarity to ask Vikas. Now he guessed he would never know. So yeah, this is when Gregor was falling. And looks like, huh, I guess M-Buddy's going to have a voice part for this one. You ready for this, M-Buddy? This is the part where Aerie says the line, man. One of the, the one that you practiced. The one with, you know, where is it? Lightfully. There he is. Now that he was safe, Gregor began to feel the fear of falling into that black void. His whole body began to shake. He pressed his face deep in Aris' neck, although it made his nose throb even more. He heard the bat whisper. And then you say it. You say it, M buddy. <laughs> I did not know, Overlander. I swear to you, I did not know. I believe you, Gregor whispered back. If Ares had known about Henry's plot... Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Someone who hasn't read the book might be listening. But yeah, I think we're gonna do... Uh, it's this part, this... And I, w I was planning on just doing this artwork as a comic cinema... I mean, as, a, as an artwork. You know, 2D artwork. 2D digital artwork. But, since... That part is actually in chapter 25. 
I guess it's time to uh do another. I mean, I guess it's okay to do another comic cinematic so that everybody can showcase his Ares's voice. So yeah, everybody, you get ready. So for this, for this artwork, what I wanna achieve for this an um, animation, what I wanna achieve is like a like a looping anime like art style for that part for when Gregor was like pressing his nose into Ares's neck and then Ares Ares looking sad and saying his line so I'm going to try to achieve like an anime like um, art style for this so we're going to go and do 2d animation go to 2d animation workspace create a new uh, blender file and we are going to try and make an anime loop of that part so for this part of uh, the creation process we are going to be doing some sketching so we're done with the part where I, I thought of a concept I uh, I checked the book chapter 25 picked picked a part where I want that I want to like bring to life through uh, animation or artworks and now we are going to do some sketches so we are gonna sketch uh, Ares first before Gregor so Ares will have a very sad face I'm going to to try and make it anime style what's gonna be challenging about this is Ares's fur because uh, you know I would have to animate that so yeah let's let's do this first some Sketches. I'm gonna start with a circle for Aris's head, and another circle for the snout. So, yeah, something like that. We, yeah, like I said, we are gonna do an anime style animation. So, I am just winging it right now. and yeah this is probably going to be like a very clear view of Ares which I also actually did a while back I made an artwork of Ares and Gregor but that was a, ha a hap happier artwork because they're both smiling there this one though something awful just happened so yeah I'm drawing Ares here going to try to make it as uh, anime style as possible but first we are going to do a sketch so Aris's wings will be separate from his body because I'm gonna be animating that separately it's a layer that I'm gonna it's gonna be a separate layer It's gonna be flapping. Maybe it will start with a glide first. Uh, Aries just gliding through the air. So yeah, everybody, you better get ready for a big surprise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not a surprise anymore. Yeah, you, you gotta get your voice ready, man. You're about to do an Aries voice. So hopefully I'll be able to like properly create like a nice perspective here nice angle I, I kind of have an uh, like a I kind of I'm kind of imagining it in my head right now I just want to get it right so Gregor is gonna be right here just just lying on Aris's back A 
like that. Um, I think you can do this, M buddy. Don't doubt yourself too much. We'll just talk about it in Discord. You can we can talk in the call up channel. You know, you don't have to DM me. We need to talk it talk about it on a call up chat. And pro I probably need to also give you a collaboration. Uh a collaborator uh role now, because you are now a collaborator. So we're gonna talk in the collab call up chat general. It's probably easier to do it there because there's the voice channel, which you know I can like direct you live. So yeah. I just need to properly fix this. I want a nice angle, just a close up like right at this point where only Ares' head is shown in Gregor. It's Gregor's head as well. Wait, did I give you a collaborator role already? Escape. Oh yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Yeah, I forgot. I do a lot of things in one day. That I sometimes I forget some of them. Anyways, yeah, I did give you a collaborator role already. Oopsie. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna save this. Our sketch. Uh, should be in Doodle Notes projects, the Unland project, another project, what works. I'm gonna create a new folder and name it. Uh, hmm, what are we going to name it? Okay, this is, we're gonna take a while here. Okay, I will need to fix that, M buddy. All the collaborator collaborators should be able to talk in the call in the collab channel. I'm gonna have to check that later. Anyways, the name for this would be I just want a simple one, just like the previous artworks. A bond, maybe maybe a bond, because I think I think at this point, you know, Gregor, you know, trusted Ares. This is the this is the moment where, you know, he decided to trust Ares, which you know it's kind of like a requirement when you're bonding with a bat. So I guess a bond will be will be a nice title. So yeah, there's the bat wing, Gregor's face. Oh man, this is gonna be challenging. An anime style artwork. I actually plan of, of doing it this way when I shared to anybody that we're gonna be doing this we're probably gonna be doing this scene and he's gonna voice Ares I actually thought of doing it anime style so yeah this is kind of, this is not exactly like on the spot I had this idea for a long time but to execute it is another qu is another thing So, there should be flying, it's peaceful, it's quiet, only the wind, you can hear the wind. <sighs> and then Ares looks really sad. You can see in his eyes that he's so sad. And then Gregor's just, you know, really, uh, you know, uh, you know, what are you? It's just, you know, just, uh, what was the, what was it called again? Um, um, really... Uh, uh, burying, burying, just, just, you know, just, just bird, just, you're just burying his face here on Ares's fur because he just experienced something awful, and Ares is looking so sad. And then you can hear the wind, and Ares suddenly says, "I did not know, Ovilander. I swear to you, I did not know." And then Gregor kind of like looks at him and you know, kind of raises his head a bit. We can see his like eyes and like half of his face. Because it's bar still buried in the fur. And he just says, I believe you. And then Ares looks 
on again and then you just keep flying and then it just loops. It loops. I'm gonna try to make it loop. So, yeah, wind. Hey, I'm money. Thank. Um, it's fine. Just yeah, do your do the stuff that you need to do. You can watch it anyway later, if you want to. Plus, there's gonna be a whole lot of boring, tedious stuff stuff happening. And yeah, we're probably gonna be ending the stream early as well. I just I'm just going to uh do some sketch animation. So and then Aries looks at I probably need to like draw more here. So I'm gonna make this sketch. Oopsie. Sketch one. And then, uh, sketch two. I'm gonna start by just like slightly drawing some fur here. Um, I kind of don't want this kind of ear for Aries actually. I want the ear where it's kind of standing up, but the problem with that is it covers Gregor's face. So I don't want it to be up because I also want to indicate... I also want to use the ears to emphasize the fact that Ares is sad, so his ears will be you know, kind of down. Just down here. Just feels empty inside, you know, after what happened. Which, if you've read the book, you'll know. So yeah, it is a very sad moment, actually. So I might look at some references on the, on the bat's ears too. And I tell you what, I'm gonna do that right now. I believe I have gathered some pictures here. So the Underland Project, pictures, I oh, know it's in pictures, current reference pics, uh, flyers, yeah, and I should have some reference here. I'm just gonna put this in the other screen, you guys don't really need to see it, I think. Plus, some of them are probably copyrighted, so I'm just gonna hide it there. But I still do need to see the chat, so. If you have any questions, by the way, anyone who's watching, if you have any questions about Blender or anything, just ask in the chats. Or in the comments below if you're watching it. If you're watching this, if you're not watching this live. So I will really need to make Aries's uh, ears stand up a bit but kind of drooping because uh, I want to give it an, a bat a bat like hey there Michael welcome to the stream I'm currently creating an anime style 2d animation in blender based on the scene from Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. So this is gonna be like an anime style loop. So just gonna do that. And I wanna give Ares actually a fox like uh a fox like face welcome back M buddy so let me just grab some of my references here but yeah I want to give Gregor like I mean uh, Aries a fox like 
look. He's kind of, you know, he's sad. So his eyes, kind of drooping, you know, tired and sleepy. Look. So this is not going to be Aris's final look, most probably. So yeah, let me just look at my references here because I wanna... I guess I'm gonna choose uh, this as his kind of like an Aries face. I'm just put, I'm gonna put that on the other screen. So yeah, I'm just hopefully everything's fine still in the stream. Tell me if it's not. So, just the nose, like that. I probably need to adjust the nose. <laughs> well, it's payback, eh, buddy? Because you also gave me a heart attack on the previous stream with a donut yeah my pronunciation of donuts donuts <laughs> it changes a lot donut 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 that's how you that's how you pronounce it in in our uh, dialect or in our language do you want some donut Aries looks like a baby here that's uh, gotta be that's not good. I think I need to increase more. It's probably because of the size of the snout. Yeah, Aries kind of looks like a baby. Probably because of the big eyes as well. So, I'm just gonna do something like that. Yeah, Aries looks so young. That shouldn't be the case, Aries. Needs to look like uh, needs to look like a, like a like an older bat. Now you just have a pig nose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe we can fix this still. This bat that I'm using a reference is also very fat though. So I'm just gonna do this. Shouldn't be smiling, should be frowning. Yeah, maybe that works. So the a bat's eye is, you know, mostly black. So Aries wouldn't be too old, I think. So there, he's just you know really sad. Then the fur here. And then Gregor's. Did Gregor lose the hat though? The hard hat when he jumped? I don't think it was stated in the book. 
that he lost the hard hat. I think he did, because uh, there was a time where they had to... I'm just gonna check the book so uh, I don't... Chapter 20s... Let's see, how about light? Only this, said Gregor Tapi. Okay, he still had have his hat, because that time where he's talking to his father, he still has the hard hat. So I guess he'd still be wearing it here. So the design of the hard hat is still something that is not finalized, but I do have a design that I keep on coming back to when I draw the hard hat. So just Gregor's face in here buried on Aris's fur. Yeah, I guess he's still wearing the backpack as well. He didn't have time to take it off. Like the baby backpack. This is probably either going to be really awesome or look really awful. But we'll see. I'm gonna try to at least make it awesome. So Gregor's just there. Okay, so now we're gonna try and do some quick animations. So this, like I said, this will loop and very quiet, very solemn. Um, let's see. Selecting the camera, right? Okay. So I also need to make sure that they're inside the rule of thirds. So let me just bring out the thirds here in viewport display, comp composition guys, guides, thirds. So I want, Greg I want Aries to be like right at this point here in the thirds and Gregor also right there. So maybe I have to move back a bit. And there we go. Yeah, everybody, everyone's bad styles are, you know, different. I don't even have a final style for the bats yet. But I think you can also, it's, I can, I can, it's probably like the same as yours, where you say you don't even know if you have an art style. I'm saying I don't know what art style, art style I'm going for, but if you probably observe the bats that I draw, they're probably, they probably have the same style. Because, you know, I just subconsciously draw the same style for the bats. That's probably the case. Yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna be drawing the wings yet, just this part, because this part are what's gonna be more in motion. The wings will also flap a bit, but mostly gliding. So, peacefulness, sadness, wind. Aries kinda like moves his head a bit. So maybe instead of drawing it again, I'm just gonna go and grab. I should probably just, you know, draw this again. Let me, uh, unlock, I mean lock, the sketch one and this other sketch. And I'm just gonna erase this. I'm gonna turn on onion skinning. Erase this part right here. Because I want Aries to look... I'm going to reduce the opacity of the previous sketch as well. So, just erase that part. Aries kind of looks at Gregor. Let me just try and draw that. Opens his eye a bit. Let me go to front view for this. So yeah, 
Aris kind of turns his head. The nose will be right here. Is Cal Art style the Disney style? Because Cal Arts is like the Disney school, right? And Disney kind of has like a style going on. Oh, simple art style? Okay. Simple art style is, you know, it's nice. Because it's simple. But I'm aiming for like an anime style for this one. And hopefully I achieve it. So yeah, Aries. Probably need to sketch a bit here. So yeah, I guess I'm going to have to draw a circle first. You barely see it because I reduced the opacity, but you know, I can always increase it. Not too much, probably just right here. The snout is. And then he just he starts talking. Like that. Eyes will be right here. And the ears kind of changing its position a bit. Okay, now let's do this. Since we have this sketch, oopsie, unlock that layer. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the sketch one as well. California Arts. I just know that it's a school for it's like the school founded by the nine no the nine was it nine old men? I mean the Disney guys that yeah the old animators of Disney. Cal California Arts. I wanted to go to that school, uh, you know before, but. I've known now that it may not be that possible. So I stuck to a uh, YouTube Academy and Google, Google, Google Institute of Arts. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, yeah, whatever. So I really hope I'm, I'll be able to pull this off. This is like a first attempt to anime style animation too, so... Yeah. So just the nose here. I'm not gonna be too meticulous at this point because, you know. Or probably I should. Because, you know, sketching may be sketching, but it's also an important part in the process. Let me, sh let me see how this looks. 
I also need to properly fix how I draw the nose because they always look like they end up looking not that great. So Iris kind of slightly opens his mouth here, telling Gregor that he did not know. He did not know about the betrayal. So yeah, that doesn't look that great for now, but hopefully in the final version. So flying, flying, wind. Sadness, and then he, he starts talking. I did not know, Overlander. I swear to you, I did not know. And then he, then we get the first frame again. As he, as he looks back. I did not know, Overlander. I swear to you. I did not know, Overlander. I swear to you, I did not know. I'm trying to copy like Embody's way of saying it. <laughs> so wind flying. I did not know over a lander. I swear to you, I did not know. Maybe longer like this. <laughs> yeah, me too, Embody. Did not know over a lander. I swear to you, I did not know. And then Gregor starts lifting his head at this point. As he says, I believe you. Then Gregor lifts his head, maybe at this point. So let me just uh, add a keyframe here and go back to draw mode and I'm gonna erase this head part right here. I can't see the onion skin. Let me just hide the camera for a while. Camera, this one. Make sure I select the stroke. So Gregor up I'm probably also going to do the same thing for this let me lock this first one first so I can make some guidelines so wait did I move probably not yeah they went down I ended up moving it slightly let me control Z this what part did I move the whole thing? Because for some reason... Okay, I think we're fine now. Okay. So let me hide the camera again. And buddy, your your way of speaking Aries I think is perfect. Because yeah, it's weird. It's it's not really weird, it's you know kinda has like a iconic thing to it. I don't know. Like you can really say that it's unique, you know. And I want that kind of voice to for Aries, at least for my animations of my own adaptations. And his voice is you know, it doesn't exactly convey the emotions that he actually really feels but despite that you can still say that you know he's not feeling so great and that he is hurting yeah the, the one that you sent I think really is going to work but you know we, we shall see let's see what you know what the others are going to say after we did after we do it So Gregor kind of like also this is going to be his eyes. He's going to be right here. 
So now I'm gonna hide that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will, Michael the Fairy Cat. I don't think Disney is the right company to make adaptations for Gregory the Overlander. Because they make uh, movies for kids. And Gregory the Overlander isn't exactly something that is for kids. It's got some really painful, really serious parts to it. There's deaths and stuff. I don't think Disney will be able to pull this off properly. If they, you know, they're gonna change it a lot just so that it, you know, it's fine for even younger kids to watch it. I also do not do not trust those people who made the Hunger Games movies because they cut a lot in the Hunger Games. What I really want for this, for Gregory the Overlander, is to become uh, instead of a movie, I want it to become a TV series or a, you know a series in Netflix, so that you know nothing will be cut. You know, like an anime, when an anime is based in a manga, you know it's not far from the manga when an um, anime is made. It's accurate to the story. That's kind of what I want to do for. Gregory Overlander, if there's any adaptations, that's what I want. So if if this becomes a movie, there's a lot of things that's gonna be get, gonna get cut. And I really don't want that to happen. I don't wanna cut parts. I might change some parts actually if I'm gonna make an adaptation, like an official one. Because there are parts in book four that's you know questionable, I think. Especially the part where Luxa and the others missed you know, the Bane's hints of killing the, the mice. So, um, yeah, Gregor's eyes, nose. I'm just gonna hide his, his mouth for this part. He's gonna tell Ares that he believes him. Oh no, did I delete parts? Let me unsee this. I believe you. Okay. Did they try to be dark in the Mulan movie? It still feels like... It feels like a pretty soft. But yeah, there are parts in the Mulan movie where, you know, the soldiers died. I'm kind of surprised that Disney showed something like that. But then again, they did show a lot of deaths in Pirates of the Caribbean. Which Pirates of the Caribbean is a lot. There's a lot of there's some darkness to it, but also humor, some dark humor. And you know the first three movies. So it's not actually surprising when Disney does a, a dark stuff, but Mulan is I don't know. I don't, I don't think they achieved what they want to achieve in Mulan, I don't know. Can't really judge that. There's a lot of people who worked on that movie. And I don't want to bring them down. So here we go. Yeah, every, every, they're flying, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get this f uh, final... F uh, the, the first frame, the last part there. So... Wind, sadness, flying, flying, and then the says, I did not know, Overlander, I swear to you, I did not know. I believe you. And then he buries his face again. I believe you. But it's gotta be like sincere, like, like, you can really tell that Gregor decided to trust Ares at this point. Did not know, Overlander. I swear to you, I did not know. And then there's there's just you know a bit of silence before Gregor decides to answer. I believe you. I 
believe you. And there we go. That's the sketch part, I think. Let me just uh, try and properly set the l length for this animate for this loop. Hello, uh, that fish plays. And buddy, which, you know, like making your voice kind of emotionless is perfect for Aries. Because, you know, as what's described in the book, you know, Aries often doesn't often show his emotion. He's, you know, he's, he seems like emotionless. I think that's how, you know, how Aries is. You can't really tell if he's sad or, you know, you can't really tell, but, you know, you can feel it. And something like that. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but you know, there's a point like that in in movies sometimes where there are these characters who who doesn't seem to have emotion, but then when they speak and there's and you know, there's a point where they're supposed to be sad. You know, they're they're sad. I think I can cite some example. Maybe maybe Mod Pie from Pinky for, for, from my, my Little Pony. <laughs> Maybe that one. I don't know. Or, uh, yeah, I, I kind of remember a character. There are some characters like that in some movies. So anyways, let's preview this for the last time. Let's see what else we can do here. I prob I'm probably put I probably put myself in a whole lot of things to do again <laughs> because of this yeah I think it's nice let's see so I'm going to try and add a noise modifier just so just so I can yeah this is that's that looks nice already okay let's try this Tell you what, let's add a music, uh, a, a wind to this. Let's add a wind. I'm gonna go open the video editing workspace. Hey there, Taiho Yin. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the stickers, man. Finally arrived. I still have it here. I still didn't use some. Yeah, everything's fine, man. Thanks. They really thank you for the stick sticker stickers. My little sister probably stole one of it and stick it on my door. Well, yeah, there's still a lot left. So yeah, thank you so much for that. Right now, we're uh, we're finishing up this sketch for the next uh, TUP art challenge entry. This is the part where Gregor, you know, just when uh, just the part when Gregor leapt. Uh, spoilers, spoiler alert! Gregor leapt, and Ares caught him, and then they were flying away from the horrible things that happened there when. A lot of rats fell to your deaths of, you know, died falling. So, yeah, and right now, this is the part where they're flying. I'm gonna add a wind, a wind sound effect for this, just so we can have a feel of it. Usually, we should have the dialogue as well around this part, you know, for the, like a proper animation workflow. But since I just, you know, I'm, I didn't know what I'm going to do for this month's entry, I did not give uh, anybody a heads up for Ares' voice, and I also did not was not able to record Gregor's voice. So I'm going to go for ambience. No, not that. SFX, ambience. I'm probably going to get a... No, excuse me. A sound from the cave here. Let's see. This cave atmosphere from an epidemic sound. No. Oh no, it's gonna be stuck again. And yeah, Windows Media Player always does that. That's gonna be stuck for a while. Won't be. There's nothing we can do about that. But let me just go and add windstorm or wind gusts, probably. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna try and drag and drop that there. That's too strong. I just want like a peaceful breeze. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, and buddy, I'm probably if you were not ready to like record again, I can probably use that the uh, the ones that you sent me, if you really can't record. But hey, maybe. Oh, do you mean like now? Yeah, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna have to open the DM though. I th because I did not download it. I just listened to it on Discord. Let me just, you know, go back and find it. You can probably hear it once I play it. Okay, there's that one. I'm gonna download that. Do the most projects. The Unland project. You can't see it, it's in the other screen, by the way. So let me just move it so that the screen doesn't look empty. I'm just gonna add a new folder and call it a bond. I'm just gonna save it here. Now let's try and get the next one. There's still a lot here. I did not know. Well, that's the deeper one. I think I already downloaded the one that we want that I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I already got the one. But you know. We might have to record it again or something, I don't know. But I think this works. Let me just uh, add the winds, the wind first, and then I'm gonna drop the... I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna make this 3D viewport. Camera view. I'm gonna go viewport, make this white. Probably move it so that it doesn't fade in. I don't like this uh, wind. It sounds so. Sounds so. Uh, probably the strong wind. Wait. Ah, these are just the uh, bits and pieces of winds. Let me see. There's wind right here. Maybe this is what we need. Nah, it sounds like it's outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wind in pine trees, that's not what we need. Outdoor atmosphere, lake, wind, hollow wind. Let's see this. Nah, it's, it sounds so horror-like. Uh, forest, wind, summer. Maybe this works. Unless there are birds. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll use this for now. Kind of, it's kind of the sound that I want. Or not. <laughs> There's a wind effect here that I have that should work well though hmm where is it where is it where is it maybe this one for now just for now and I'm also gonna uh, layer on top of that a cave sound. Yeah, this one. Just gonna lower the uh, cave sound. Lower the volume. Point 0.1 maybe. Move it there so there's no fade in. And then let's drop Embody's voice here. This project, the other project. Audio. See, I really thank you to those who, you know, to the collaborators of Doodle Notes Productions. To, you know, to you, Embody, to, uh, to Lens Den, and also Mikkel, which will be the voice of Henry, and also Banana Beth. 
she's probably also gonna voice uh, Perdita in the future. Thank you for, you know, volunteering to to give voice to some characters in my animations for free. <laughs> really, thank you. Okay. Probably need to make it uh, quieter. But you know, it's not processed yet. This is very raw sound files. So it's they're not gonna sound so natural. But when everything's nice and processed, you know, they're properly, you know, mixed. I think it's the term for that. And then I probably need to move some stuff here. I'm gonna unlock the sketch for now, just so everything is moved. Nothing's left out. I believe you. I believe you. And then it just loops. But yeah, I think the cave sound is like to really throwing off the feeling here. I'm gonna get rid of that. I really need like a sad vibe here. Did I just close? I'm gonna try and look for a, like better ambient sound. Let's see. Um. I'm gonna try cave atmosphere, let's see. I'm just gonna lower the volume of this. I believe you. And then it just loops. So yeah, I think that's all for now. We did the concept, we did the sketch, sketch animation. Uh, next part tomorrow, we're gonna be doing some line arts, I think. And I'm also gonna probably gonna be adding uh, some sound effects for the for the wings flapping, and other wind effect. I'm gonna fix that off recording, and you'll see that you'll see how would that look tomorrow. But yeah, for now, this is it. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching up to this point. We're actually almost an hour uh, into the stream. So yeah, uh, that's all. Thank you so much for my uh, Golden Doodle f Fuel Givers. You know, Magnolia, Weather Shield, Eric Madrigal, Elizabeth Money, Tristan Windle, Kirma Gage, and M Buddy. Thank you so much. And yeah, if you want to support me, just go to co-free.com slash Doodle Productions. If you want to support everything that I do for here in Doodle Productions, you know, just go there. Take a peek, see if you like what I'm doing, and you know, support me there. Also, follow Doodle Nose Productions everywhere on the internet. I have a YouTube account, YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Till this point, hopefully, I've shared some knowledge in stuff. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Phil Chaz, and yeah, I gotta. I gotta do other stuff, actually. I gotta finish Doodle Logs Reserve 5 and TUP Editions Reserve 1. Lots of stuff to do, so bye.